So today we're gonna do some more Pokemon Uranium. Last time we got the the first gym badge. Um, yeah, and then like I kind of died inside a lot because of the copious amounts of training and bullshit tactics that I had to do. Um, this game is a lot harder than I anticipated, and that's saying it lightly. Holy fuck! Okay, let's let me go suffer inside a little bit more. And, like, not fucking want to play this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let me, let, let, let me find, where did I put uranium? Okay, there it is. There it is. That's the one I want. Uh. Don't worry. It should get a little, it should be getting a little bit better here soon. Oh, you know what? I need to make- I need- I do need to make an overlay, huh? I do need to make an overlay. Oh. Uh, I need to do that eventually. Oh. Okay. I like how it says press space. Oh. Oh, we're in Barole Town now. Uh... So, who's our- uh, okay. Uh, oh god, I need to remember these fucking controls. Okay. Action. Action. Again, it would have been very much... Cancel. Okay, C is action. Okay. Okay, so C is the action, X is the- okay. Wow, I- I'm very good. <laughs> Alright, let's go walk into these houses and see what these people got. If bad guys like Team Rocket actually existed, they wouldn't stand a chance against me. You're a child. To be honest, I'm a little worried about these video game things. To be honest, I'm worried too. Be quiet. I'm playing, the, I'm playing the new game on the block, Pokemon Silver. I just caught a ladybug. Does this game like taking place in the 90s? I work for the gym. I work for the gym leader, Davern. My Pokemon and I constantly evac excavate the surrounding caves. In the oh, okay. Uh, Dar Davern loves caves. Apparently, he grew up in one, so he built the, his gym in a cave using uses cave Pokemon to battle. Okay, that's good lore. You are probably from Moki Town. That place is so bad. That's why. I, that's why you are so fascinated with Barol. Then I can't just see it in yours. Uh, okay. I like how she's like. By the way, your town is shit. <laughs> eh. What? Our school sports uh, sports team are the toughest. On. We can we can beat Moki or Kevlar with their hands tied. I heard that the, I heard that there was a professor who studied evolution somewhere, like Professor Bambo, right? What was his name? Spruce or some? Uh, I think it's dangerous for young kids to just leave home and go adventuring like you do. Wait, hold on. Let me read that again. Spruce or s so ma. I don't know. I hope you keep uh, keeping up with your study studies even if you are adventurous. Well, I'm gonna go up here then. Oh, hey. Practice for battle, do you think you can help me study? Oh, oh, it's battling. Yes. Ooh. Hey, you got one of those too. Fuck yeah. Uh, hmm. So glad I caught one of these. Uh, what are my thoughts so far about this game? Uh, it's good. 
I love the music. Um, you know, like most RPGs game maker games or whatever engine this is, I forget. Um, the jank is there, but jank is good when it comes to games like this. I I like I like the tape and glue aesthetic. <laughs> Um, but it has a lot of really useful features, I, I will admit. Like, some of these features in this game are actually uh, very, very useful. It's amazing how you can actually correlate some of these features that I've seen so far, and you can see them be implemented in Pokemon as of now. Which is fucking crazy. Because then it really does drive home the theory of they shut this game down because it was better than their actual fucking shitty games. But, uh, I mean, hey. What's it called? Um. But yeah, I can. I do see. I do see, uh. I can see why the people recommend this game. So far. I mean, it's batshit hard. So far, <laughs> from what I've seen, it's, it's stupidly hard. But. I mean. You can't have a you can't have a end game where ROM hack cannot be like stupid hard. Oh oh, it's this thing. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, and then chat had told me to keep Dunsparce in my team, so I'm wondering why. Good. Hey, would you mind battling just for practice, you know? Alright. Bubble fly. Look at that lad. You know what? The moment we get uh, Lombre, I'm 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 gonna go fucking crazy. Here. Oi. Why do you keep getting spoiled, by the way? It, it's just what it is. It's what it is. And you know what? Part of it is my fault. Because I, um... Well... Part of it is definitely my fault. Because of... Clicking on Austin John's, like, hey, spoiler video. And knowing how the algorithm works. Um... It's just what it is, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, deep down inside, I should know, like, oh yeah, like, if I click this, YouTube's gonna keep force-feeding me this shit. Really? Really? I can't, I can't win, can I? Dude. You know, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of Tonimi. Genuinely, I'm probably gonna have to get. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Fuck this critical bullshit. This is a fucking joke. Really? Here. Just. No! Oh my god, please survive. 
Bro! Fuck you! Oh my god! Why? It's like there's no damage counter. Come on. Fucking ridiculous, dude. Okay. Alright. Alright, go fuck yourself. I'm getting rid of some of these mons. Like, some of these mons are fucking ass, dude. Like, I was trying to think, like, okay, maybe I could use these, but... But, like, apparently not. Like, you, you these fucking Pokemon suck dick. <laughs> so, um... Get rid of you... Because you suck. And, um... Yeah, we'll get rid of you as well. Because you suck dick as well. <laughs> Bro, as a matter of fact... Uh, <laughs> here. Damn it. I'm gonna wonder trade some of them off. Let's go. Are you is this the wonder trade one? Oh no, this is the wonder trade. Wonder trade. Okay. Uh Yes, you 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 can go fuck yourself. Oh. Ooh. What is this? Oh. Okay, interesting. Um Here, get rid of you. We can't ban <laughs> Okay. Kazuto, go fuck yourself. No one wants you. Yes. Burbia? Burby? Oh, that's another one of those. Jose. I, I don't want Tonami. Tonami can go fuck itself. I... Zubart. <laughs> Good. Good name. Good fucking name, by the way. Zubart. Oh. Rosard? Wait, what type of- you're grass and ground, and you're ground. I mean, fuck it. Sure. We'll try y'all. I mean, fuck it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna organize this team a little bit. Make it more prioritable. Prioritizable. Boom. We'll try him. I mean, I'm not opposed to trying some new mons. However, I am opposed to not having healing items anymore, so... <sighs> Where is... Give me these, please. Yes. Thank you.
Also, I kind of hate how this button is the button that... It, this is the back button, but this is also the button that you use for, like... Oh, it's aggravating. I know I can change the controls, but, like... Ah, uh, yes. The old classic. Going up and down the stairs infinitely. <laughs> there. Ah! Here, uh, done sparse. You could like go fuck yourself, do it a little bit, dude. Rosar, do you have like a move that could like kill this thing? If I remember correctly, it's just bug and fairy. It should be fine. Oh my god, why is bug bite so fucking powerful? <laughs> it's so stupid. Bro, really? Bubble fly, I hate you. I, I fucking, I, I want you dead. I want you dead! Just kill it! Fucking kill it! Oh my god, it does half the fucking health, dude! That's so stupid! It's so fucking bullshit! It really is! Bro! It's so bullshit! Fuck that! No! What? Why does Bug Bite do so much fucking damage? That- That's bullshit. Fuck that. No! And you do nothing to this thing. Bro. And it's gonna take up half my fucking team just to kill this thing, huh? Yep, it's gonna take half my fucking team to kill this thing. Are you kidding me? Part of me thinks that this game is a fucking cruel joke. It re why? Why even- why even fucking have a damage counter then? For this. Like, oh yeah, bug bite? Half health? I mean, at that point, just don't fucking have a health thing. I mean, that one makes sense because it's four times weak to fire. I still call bullshit, though, but whatever. How? That should be super effective! What? It's a fucking fire- oh my god. Okay. Game, you're gonna give me a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> We're not even like an hour into the stream and I'm already like having an aneurysm. Or about to. Good.
What is damage counter? <laughs> I'll figure out how I don't think it. If I can beat one a fight. Oh. Uh, Don't name me, huh? Don't name Alright, gun stars. Uh, roll out, please. No. Oh. Okay, well, at least, at least it missed. So you know what? I can't complain. Here, Grozart, come here. These new legends, Arceus Pokemon looking funky. Soul, I swear to god, brother. I, I swear to fucking god. If you're talk I hope you're talking about this game because I keep getting spoiled. <laughs> I keep getting fucking spoiled. I uh, I keep getting spoiled. Every damn time. Yeah, I'm talking about this game. Okay. Okay, good. Because I shit you not, anytime I go on YouTube at this point, I get spoiled. And I have to blame Austin John. Because I clicked his video just out of curiosity. Like, I just wanted to see one mod. That was it. Just to verify. I just want to see if Typhlosion was this funny stoner weed Pokemon. Weed mod that everyone's joking about. And sure enough, it was. But because how YouTube's algorithm works, now my fucking recommended is nothing but legend spoilers. Minus the story shit. It's just guide shit, but it's still pissing me off. <laughs> it's like some random French kid. <laughs> it's just random it's just random French kids. Fucking, hey, by the way, this is how you do this, or this is how you talk. I'm like, no! It's not- we're not even there yet! Oh gosh, I know the feel. All it takes is one vid. Dude, it really is- it's- it's- I hope- I hope Nintendo sues. I really do. I- I hope they- they force them to change the algorithm. Cause like, Game Freak's been trying to keep this under wraps for the longest fucking time. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have- you have Levitate. Of course you do. Yeah, we can't have- we can't make it fair. We can't make it fair. Hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, it, it just takes one fucking video. It, it's- it's- it's crazy. And now my entire recommended is either- it, it's just- it's just that. And I'm just like... I don't even own the game yet! The game's not even out! I can't even play it on a hack switch any my hack switch anyway because Nintendo apparently somehow magically nuked my switch when the battery was dead this whole time. I can't even format the thing. That's <laughs> so like I can't even play the game. And then you have people on Twitch fucking playing the game. When they should when the game should be obviously on embargo. It's like, bro. <laughs> Every fucking year. <laughs> Every year! Anytime this shit happens, it's like... It's just like, bro... Brother! Anyways, how are you today, soul? <laughs> how, how many replies of win.3 coming out? <laughs> That's one, like, the scary thing for me to, like, if I ever wanted to, because I do want to dabble into developing video games at one point, sooner or later, rather, but, um, I get really scared, because if I do something like Chub Chomp Chill, what would end up happening is, it's like, I, I, I fear the idea of getting DMs of, when, the, when this coming out. Like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't fucking, I couldn't do it. Oh, fair rule. Oh, it's this thing. It's the it's the bootleg Geo dude of the group. 
the bootleg Geo dude that takes forever. Oi. Let's see, what is my mom text why is my mom texting me while I'm streaming? What what's going on here? You working. Uh the Alexa was sold. There we go. <sighs> Lol, I'm doing okay. I'm actually working on it now. I do definitely get messages every now and now and again, but nothing too egregious, haha. <laughs> Bro, honestly, like I said, I couldn't, I could, I, it scares the shit out of me if I wanted to develop games. Because eventually I do want to do something. You know, I have all these shitty, <laughs> I have all these shitty characters and I'm like, yeah, I probably should make a game or something. But I get scared of shit like that because like, I don't know. I get, I get scared. <laughs> Oi. Oh, Floaty Colo, come on, dude. Ah. Is it just me or does Kokoron... Okay, Kokoron look, does look like it would be a Pokemon. But, I mean, like, a now and day Pokemon. But, like, when this game initially was, like, announced and, like, coming out, I don't see it as a Pokemon. Oh, I, I don't. Some of, okay, so some of these designs, I think, okay, this could work. Like, nowadays, right? Because nowadays, designs for Pokemon kind of go fuck all anywhere. Where at least there was a specific formula. Also, I just noticed that that, that uh, <laughs> healing machine is, like, either glued onto the TV or <laughs> is, like, in front of it. It's hard to tell. Anyway. Like, they're trying to cram everything in there and they just had no room. But, um... But, like, back in the day, there was a certain formula for Pokemon designs, right? Whereas now, it's, like, all, all over the place. So, like, when this game came out, I could actually see, um, none of these, most of these designs not working. Um, also, great, great reference. Good reference. The only good Gen 1 reference. Um, but like a lot of these designs, like I can't see them working back in the day, but now I could see them. Like, look at if I'm looking at Gen 8 designs, correct? I could see it. Gen 7, especially. Because with those designs, there's no rhyme or reason for anything to make sense, it's just all over the place. I think the best example of a, of a Pokemon that fits its environment and makes no fucking sense design-wise, but it exists nonetheless, is Bruxius. <laughs> because, like, tropical animals in tropical areas are, like, the most extreme in terms of their, like, in terms of their, like, environment, right? Like, for example, like, I don't know, I, I'm just gonna use an example. We'll, we'll use, like, I don't even know if this lives in the tropical area because I've never lived in a tropical area, but um, we'll use a water snake, right? A sea snake. Like, they often tend to have the most like outlandish fucking color design, right? For their for their species. But it works because everything else is outlandish as fuck in their environment. It exists. Bruxus is the same way with Alola. I can't see that mod working anywhere else. Maybe like in Unova, technically, maybe Unova because of uh, Hulao City and like Undela Bay, but like, like, uh, like I'm thinking logistically wise, like realistically, if I were living in the Pokemon world and I saw this fucking mod, where would this thing even live other than those three areas? Also, what the fuck is this? 
it looks okay this okay okay all right all right all right this thing looks like um fucking what's his name uh, what is name what's his name what's his name what's his name what's his name i can't even remember his fucking name he looks like the dictator squirrel you know it's funny i had this motherfucker on the metopia streams and i can't even remember his name but he looks like he's been he looks like uh like a spider-man villain <laughs> He look flippy. There we go, flippy. Yeah, he looks like fucking flippy, but he's like an electro villain. Also, good job. You 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 somehow not managed to win. But yeah, like, uh, but like going back to the conversation, like, I can't see like Bruxus living anywhere else except for those three areas at the current moment, right? Maybe somewhere in Hisui, in Hisui, if we like see something about it, but like, in truth, I don't see it living anywhere. It's it, it's one of the reasons why I'm so cautious when it comes to like thinking about. Also, whoa, what the fuck is that? You know what? A lot of these mon designs, I'm thinking about it. They fit with this environment because, like. Isn't the whole premise of this game like, hey, we legitimately had a nuclear accident and now our mons are mutated? But like, the problem I have with like, main designs, main like, Pokemon designs nowadays is that you could have a mon and it works in one area, right? But where are we putting this in it? And sometimes you have situations where it's like, um, like Sword and Shield, where you have mods that just, they feel slapped in. Um, <laughs> they feel slapped in until you read the lore of the country that the region's based in. I'll give you an example. Uh, that little fucking, uh, little night mon. With like five versions of themselves, I can't remember his name. But like, why is that a Pokemon? Rock Snake. Rock Snake. More like cock snake, am I right? <laughs> Oops. But I mean, like, but yeah, like, I have a lot of issues with some of these new Pokemon designs. But then you have, like, I think my main gripe about the newer generation Pokemon designs is that it isn't like, oh, like, well, August, you have ball Pokemon. <laughs> you have literal pile of sludge. You have a magnet. You have keys. So why are you bitching? No, 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 no. It ain't even that. What my issue really stems from is that environmentally, how would some of these mons even like, you know, thrive? How are you? Um, ooh. Who is this adorable little thing? Spoony. He's kind of cute. Um, I mean, I'm okay, Snake. I'm good. Oh. Oh, it's, it's Ekans. Okay, I already know that there's like a, a nuclear version of Arbok, apparently. I've seen that. Whoa! What is this Sonic ass looking motherfucker? Whoa! He looks like fucking Electro Shadow the Hedgehog! <laughs> I don't know much about Sword and Shield, but I love that stupid little penguin with the ice blockhead. Yeah? 
It's Sonic, dude. You know what? Yes, yes. I'm going to name it Sonic Chew. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I'm catching this. I'm naming it Sonic Chew. Oh, you know what's sad is I was watching um Rogue talk about like Christian's fucking trolls. Ironically enough, so like. Last night, so I was like, uh, like blue spike and shit. So you know what? This is great. This is perfect. Um, no, and, and Sword should have some really good Pokemon to be divine speed on. You know what? Honestly, okay. Here's my problem with Sword and Shield, and I keep saying it. Design wise, I have no issues with it. There are some really, really good designs like Hatrine, and like you know, like Soul says, like the Ice Block Pokemon. Um. You know, one of my favorite fucking designs of all of them is Yan Ma the uh, Galarian uh, Yen Mask Evolution and Galarian Yen Mask. Uh, and also, like, Galarian uh, Linoon, Zigzagoon, Obstagoon. Uh, Obstagoon uh, is, like, basically my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon because it gave uh, Gen 3 representation, which, as you know, I'm a Gen 3 baby. baby. Uh, if I don't get my Hoenn representation, I'm going to cry and piss shit and cum. Uh, tears of uh, of uh, Groudons and Kyogres. So, like, oh, Gen 8 has a lot of great designs. Here's my issue with it. The story is absolutely fucking boring. There is no story. <laughs> and, like, the DLC is, like, tacked on. It, 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 that's all it is. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and say that the champion battle was great. Oh, dude, Leon's fucking battle is... That whole ending part of the game is like... Oh, chef's kiss. Even though the legendary shit is super rushed. Absolutely fucking super rushed. But the battle, the battle for the, the Elite Four and shit... Oh, chef's kiss, way fucking better version of what Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon had improved. I loved it. I want more of that. However... Like, you cannot get that type of thrill unless you're playing Sword and Shield, so... Hmm, great, good job, I want more of that. But, the thing is, is that it's... The story is so fucking, like, tack tacked on and, like... Not really sub substance. Like, the good thing about Gen 6, right? Is it... Even though it was like, hey, uh, there's an alternate universe... But at least the good thing about Gen 6 and 7 is that it was an add-on to what was already previously established. Okay, you have a non-mega timeline and a mega timeline. Different events occur, and then on top of that, you have all these other worlds going on. Essentially, what Game Freak established was, hey, there's this new, like, there's a multiverse going on here, which is fucking awesome. I love shit like that. But then you go back, you revert it back to Sword and Shield's bullshit, and it's just like, yeah, lol, by the way, we're British, and we have tournaments, and we have a corrupt guy, blah. And it's like, it's like, there's no substance. And I'm not even going to delve into BDSP, because that's literally just Diamond and Pearl, literal Diamond and Pearl remake, which, by the way, I don't have an issue with. I don't mind it being just a a Diamond of Pole remake. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it's Sonic you. <laughs> it's less that Sword and Shield has no story, it's just a trust with pace. Um uh, agree to disagree. The story is paced fucking a little too fast, yes. It's more or less to say, hey, let's get you the post game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. However, there is no story. It's just, we're British. Corpo, bad Corpo. Corpo, bad. Giant Mon. And then no, no sustenance. Also, by the way, we have two areas. One talking about how we're training, like, we're, like, in Asia, but we're in Britain. 
we're British, but we're, we're somehow training in like in Asia. And then the other one is, by the way, we rule under a fucking, uh, a, a Pokemon with a big ass Noggin. Like, if, if Galar had the same amount of, like, build-up and lore as, like, as, like, Kalos did, as, like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Hoenn did, fuck, even Alola, both versions, had so much good fucking juicy-ass lore. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, if it weren't for Nessa, I'd probably not remember any of the fucking female characters. Like, I do, like, Lucia Mine. Fucking Cynthia, Flannery, even though Flannery is a 2D character at this point, because as you know, <laughs> there's really no sustenance to her. If she's just waifu bait. Fucking uh Steven, Devon Corporation, fucking uh the Kimono girls, uh Proton. Like, these are characters I remember because they have in-depth lore. They're more than just 2D at that point. They have in-depth lore. Silver, green. Red, uh, fucking Oak. These are characters that already have established things going on inside their games. And it's, it's built upon as the games go by. But it, it's just... The issue I have with Sword and Shield is it doesn't have that. So, in essence, the point is, is Flame thinks that Sword and Shield is fucking boring. It has a super slow build up to the darkest day stuff and then blows its climax load at the last 10%. Yeah, and it does. Yes. It's it, it's not good. Hop has one of the has the most development as a rival. You know what? Yes. I can agree there. I can absolutely 100% agree there. Hop as a rival actually is probably <laughs> the bet one of the best things. Also, as much as I know people said, hey, Dumps, keep Dun- You know what? No, I'm gonna keep Dumps bars. Uh, no, we need a water type. Well, we have a water type. We have a water- We literally have a water type. Hop, I will say, though, is one of the, like, better rivals. Yes. Because unlike, um... Unlike, what's his name from Sun and Moon? Hop actually has, like, is, like, probably, you know, he's really is one of the better developed rivals. And it's a shame that, like, what, what I get the gist of Hop's story is that you're the antithesis of interrupting his story. You're fucking his story up. Because the whole game is built around Hop. Not you. You're fucking his story up. <laughs> Hop has actual character development. Cough, cough, silver. Yes, but like, silver also has character development outside of the games. Giovanni's kid. Look at Harkold Soul Silver. Giovanni's kid. His sister is literally Trainer Green. I uh, look at the manga adventure, uh, adventure manga. I, uh, you know, his development it ends up being reformed from being a, a little criminal to like being, hey. This kid has redeeming qualities. And even if you even if you want to go that far, even in the manga aspect of things, he he himself like works against he works against his own father. Him and, and works with his sister to stop his dad from corrupting the entire like Johto and Kanto regions. So in this aspect of Silver, his his character development is more so outside of the game. Now, if you really want a bad character <laughs> development, I'll, I'll give you one. Dude, what is with this dude's stash? <laughs> What's with that dude's fucking stash? Uh, you really want a bad character development in a Pokemon game? I'll give you, I'll give you a really good one. Um. Here's a really, really good one. Are you ready? Oh, I know I'm going to piss people off so much with this one, but, um, N. 
I, I'm, I'm already hearing, I'm already hearing that. Because, let me explain. N's whole shtick as a character, that, and I'm not saying it to, to be like, bad, you know. It, N's whole shtick is, he was manipulated as a kid, he lived in the wild, and he thinks he's a king when he's not, and then he, reality sets in, and then he runs away like a little bitch, and never to be seen again in any of the future games, except for Black, White, and 2. Also, he may be secret closet boy. My brain goes as far as the games goes as far as I'm concerned. The only development he's gotten is being Giovanni's kid. Well, again, that's where you have to go in, in depth. And you really got to look at like other sources. Uh, and you could go with that with any other character in these games. Really, truthfully told. Uh, like, you know, I could be wrong when it comes to fucking end. Maybe there's more lore in his manga series, in the black and white series for the manga. Really don't know. <gasps> Look at this boy! Look at him! Oh! Oh, this boy is a is a problem seeker, huh? The kids did each one its own canon, so Manga Silver is a completely different character and get to Game Silver. Yeah, but then what about instances where you have them intertwine? Like for example, Let's Go. You cannot sit there and say Let's Go is not a main series game. Because it is. Right? Paul says, I'm literally half and half when it comes to Pokemon games. I finished Heart Golden X. I didn't finish Omega Ruby and Moon because I got spoiled. I haven't played uh, Amon in a while. I'll tell you this. What is this thing? Anyway. Uh, let me. Okay, I'm going to be completely. Uh, for context sake, I've played every single Pokemon game. It, which, I've been playing Pokemon games for almost 20 years, 20 plus years now. I will say this. Um, I'll put it this way to you. My my main issue with the current games now compared to the older games is that there's too much shit going on in the current games to market and profit to to market and profit. What I mean is gimmicks. That does that suffice no use. Like, I know a lot of people would look at uh Mega Evolution as a great example, but actually Mega Evolution provided a use, it's just people hated Mega Evolution because I uh, I don't like fighting Mega Blaziken. Granted, I, again, yes, Mega Evolution is what killed me for competitive, because I fucking hated it. But in the lore and story aspect, it made much so much more sense. Um, but then when you have like situations like Z powers and Dynamaxing and whatever the fuck this, uh, whatever the fuck this other thing's going to be, the next big fucking jerk off gimmick, um, that really provides no substance other than it's tacked in there and then it's like, you know, like I could, okay, like I could go back to Fire Red and Leaf Green and have a grand fucking little time. Whereas, if I go into Let's Go, I'm going to scream and seethe and cry, because the gimmick hurts me. Why does Tonami- uh, <laughs> What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? What- Is that what Tonami evolves into? What is this? I don't like it! No, no! 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 No, I don't like it. Why does it look like that? What is it supposed to be? 
Do those eyebrows imply that it can fly? I don't know, Saul. I don't know. But what is it? Oh my god! You know, okay, Tonami looks kind of decent at first, and then it's this. I don't like it. You those, uh, so that Jesse and James are just separate characters the enemy and Jesse and James. No, because you still have the, the same instances of them saying, we're blasting off, not in just let's go, but in yellow. So you can't like write it off as, well, they're two different separate types of, you know, AUs. No, they, they, they're similar quotes. Unless you want to like point out that like, okay, maybe Jesse and James in yellow and maybe like, okay, hypothetically, if we wanted to write it off, right? If the manga version had a completely different or anime version, a completely different versions, right? And I only know one instance of that happening, which is black and white, where they actually wear their black outfits. Other than that, they're the same fucking characters all across the board. So you cannot sit there and say it, it, they don't intertwine. Dynamax thing has a little more reason to, than Z moves. Z moves as a concept as are stupid. There are some neat ones, but they are overall stupid. Yes, yes, yes. Z moves are fucking stupid. Yes. It was a gimmick. It was a marketing gimmick. Dynamaxing is the same way. Gigantamaxing is fucking unnecessary. <laughs> Which I guarantee you, when Gen 9 comes out, we're not seeing these things ever again. It's a shame that we'll never see something as useful as Mega Evolution ever again. Outside of, I guess... Hypothetically, Let's Go Johto comes out. The only thing out of all these gimmicks that, that it stayed... But Dynamaxing has an in-universe reason why it exists. Okay. Yes, they do. I agree. I actually agree. Because I actually have a theory. Yes, the theory! As to why Dynamaxing exists in Galar, by the way. Also, hey, look, we got Ludicolo early. Um. So, let me explain. So, you know how I said, like, the multiverse thing, right, with Pokemon is a, is confirmed, right? We know this is a thing because you use them. Um. So, you know how, like, there is a meteor... That was supposed to hit Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire uh, Hoenn. But the idea was in the Delta episode was basically, hey, we could take this meteor and teleport it to the non-Mega timeline of Hoenn. And Zinnia's whole uh, argument was, well, why are we teleporting it to another world that doesn't deserve that type of fate? In other words, what she's implying is, is like, hey, uh, we have a different take on our timeline where, like, evolution took a different path. Why are we taking our doomsday shit and teleporting it into a non-mega timeline? Well, what if I told you that maybe, perhaps, uh, what if Zinnia was never there? What if the player was never there? Much like how in, like, Rainbow, like, Rainbow Giovanni exists, right? The player was never there in their worlds, so they got away with their shit scot-free. What if there was a Hoenn? A Mega Hoenn, where the player didn't exist, Zinnia didn't exist, and they literally succeeded in teleporting this fucking meteor, but instead of hitting a non-Mega Hoenn, it hits Galar. That meteorite is the is the is, is essentially the meteorite that causes dy Dynamaxing. And the only reason that I correlate that to that is because if you go into the Crown Tundra and you look at Calyrex's fucking uh, Pokedex entry. It talks about how a meteorite hit Galar. A meteor hit Galar, and Calyx had to guide its Pokemon out of the forest. And that meteorite had weird mystical capabilities. I don't know, it, it's just a fucking, it's a fucking tinfoil hat theory. Boy, I mean, it makes sense, right? Especially when you take into account what the last two generations kind of established, which is... There are other fucking timelines. There are other timelines and other worlds. It's tinfoily, yes, but it makes sense. Well, fuck, kid. Consider me impressed. Now, if you can hand over that gem you found earlier. 
Click and tada, here's your badge. Fuck yeah. <sighs> I hope that bad you'll look at that badge and remember all the hard work that took to earn it. Also, please accept this TM. I would have really liked Earthquake. Help execute tunnel that ice up. Reflect the right screen. Hey, Let's take a look at that badge. The most basic gem I've, badge I've ever seen. Fuck yeah. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles. Why do you sound so miserable? Jesus. My brain interpreted that the meteor being one of the ones that would have extincted the fossil Pokemon and Calyx protect them. That's why Pokemon fossil live in the free in the pen. Uh, you know what? That's another way to interpret it. I interpret it that way because uh, the way I interpret it said earlier is because there's context to that adding up. Okay, like, but there's context to um. There's context to it, right? Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Sun and Moon. A, like, you know, X and Y. Like, these are games that correlate to a completely separate timeline. But yet, their their impact on that in their timeline impacts the other worlds. And they, what really fucking drives me off the wall with that shit is the fact that Giovanni... Okay, Team Rainbow Rocket. It's the is the is the best example of Yeah, we're fucking shit up, baby. We're fucking shit up. But um <clears throat> again, it's very tinfoily how I see that. But you know, like like um Nikki's pointing out the Dyna Dynamax is cannot due to the radiation animating from Eternus. But it's Eternatus could probably also be from that meteorite, you know what I mean? Like, that meteor. Much like how Deoxys is from a meteor. It's a virus containing a meteor. The same could be easily said about Eternatus. No. The pro again, tinfoil hat bullshit, right? It could literally be fucking anything Game Freak wants it to be. The problem is, is Sword and Shield doesn't have enough sustenance to provide any more context than what they're just trickling out. Like Undertale in that way. Yeah, we would love to tell you more, but uh, you're gonna have to wait another seven years before Chapter 3 of Delta Room comes out. Bitch. <clears throat> Soul says, is it true that radio motion controls are mandatory for Let's Go? Soul, I hate to be the, bad the bearer of bad news. Yes. Yes. Yes, they are. And they're, they, um... It's, it's the main reason why I fucking hate Let's Go. Um, like, I actually, like, for context, outside of the incontinence issue I have, um, my ri I have an, an overall nerve issue across, all across my body. Uh, one particular area is my wrist. And, um, you know, when I do flicking motions with my wrist, ooh, I just felt it now. My wrist started going in immense pain. Um, so I beat Let's Go three times off stream. And it hurts like fucking hell. Now the Switch Lite makes it so a little bit better, obviously. But, you know, I, I those are mainline games. They are not spin-offs. So, like... I realized that eventually down the line, I have to play those games on the Super Show. And I don't want to, <laughs> because it causes me so much pain. But I got to. Yeah. Oh gosh, sorry to hear that. Oh dude, it's not fun. So, when I'm playing those games, it's not gonna be fun. I'm hoping that... By the time I get to it, there's a modification to the game to where you don't have to do that flicking motion. Boy, yeah, that was a- it's- it, I hate those games so much. 
it's the only fucking Pokemon game I can actually sit here and say I genuinely want Masada to get ran over by a car for it because it, it, it it's so bad. We're here to sell the Pokemon Go. Ow! Ooh. We're here to sell the Pokemon Go gimmick. But. Holy shit, we didn't take into account that there are people out there who don't. Can't do shit like that. Oh gosh, sorry. Yeah, it's rough. It's gonna be rough when I play those games down the road. So, it, it will be rough, but it will be okay. I, um, I have, like, little, like, well, they're not, like, they're, it's not copper infused, but, um, they're, like, uh, love Force Innovation. I know, right? Force Innovation, man, it's, it's amazing. Look at NFTs, for example. Uh, um, I have these little, like, straps on my for my wrist for shit like that i wear them for work especially when uh i have to restrain someone like if i have to use uh like use of force like i have restraint a uh, wrist straps for that. that like inhibit excuse me that they don't inhibit the pain like they don't numb it but it prevents them the the motion from being hyperextended the point where, like, if there have been times where I've had to use use of force on a DT me, and like, I fuck up my wrist so bad I can't move my arm. My entire arm is just locked because I can't I can't deal with the pain. So I have like these wrist straps that prohibit that inhibit the uh, those type of motions pretty uh, pretty effectively. So yeah. You know, speaking of this nerve issue, I spoke to my doctor recently, just for shits and giggles, and uh, I, I was like, "Hey, not to be, not to be like an asshole or anything, but what is the, what was the percentage of me surviving that accident and not being like in a wheelchair?" He said about 0.3%. And, um, he's, he's surprised that I even managed to, uh, you know, force myself to walk because I could have easily been bedridden. In other words, um, there could have been a real big possibility that, uh, I could have been immobile. But not because out of choice, it would have been because of medical conditions. <laughs> So I'm just sitting there thinking, holy shit, I could have easily gotten, like, so fucked with, like, being morbidly obese in a mobile. Not because of choice, but because of fucking, like, I couldn't walk. Like, I remember, I remember after that whole accident, right, there was a brief amount of time where I could actually not walk, like, genuinely i i was in a wheelchair for like seven for like seven months and physical therapy was like rough for me um because you know if people ever see me out in real life you'll notice i'll have a little bit of a hobble and like my knees are all fucked up um for context i was in a pretty bad car accident about like eight or nine years ago uh, around 2012, 2013. Um, and it fucked up my back to the point where, uh, you know, uh, I have my parts of my body, uh, the nerve areas of my body don't function properly. So, like my wrists jitter, they, they, there's pain in certain parts of my, uh, body while my wrists jitter. Um, you know, for example, uh, uh, when the act, when I was recovering from the accident, it was apparent that I was incontinent. Because the nerves never recovered near where my sphincter is for my valves, so there was that. Um, the urinary urinary incontinence just came afterwards because you know, um, 
my knees are all fucked up, obviously. Like, you can clearly see- if I'm wearing skinny jeans, like, all the damn time, like I am, right now, you can see that my knees are all bent and shit. Um... And there's, there's a little bit of a hobble. Um, but I remember when I was a kid, physical therapy for me was fucking rough. Um, it was bad. It was bad, but I overcame it. So, I mean, that's the best you can do. You know? But yeah, apparently, according to my doctor, I had a 0.3% chance of surviving all of that the way I have right now. So, uh... If you ever need an example of shit, shit get, hits the fan, but somehow you've made it out, I'm living proof. Also, dude, Pahar looks like, oh my god, who is that fucking um, Hispanic parrot mascot? Where this, this, this one uh, fucking remember? He looks like this one fucking mascot, and I can't remember his name. Oh dang, yeah man, it, it was a rough time for me. I, as a matter of fact, to this day, like, there are still days where, like... Like, obviously the incontinence is permanent. Like, that I can't get rid of. And then, like... You know, the wrist jittering, it happens. I, I get frequent, like... Migraines and headaches. There are days where, like, I have to wake up and... I can't move my legs. It, it can be pretty, it can be pretty fucking rough, but it, it you know, I, I go through it and I get through the motions. It's just, it's just what you gotta do, you know? It's, it's, you, you, you do what you gotta do. So. But yeah, going back to the topic of, like, let's go, like, yes. Um. It, it's, uh. It's not one of my favorite games. Sounds rough for sure. Props for you to having through it. I yeah, I appreciate it, man. It, like I said, like it's the best I can do. You know. You know, come to find out that later on, like, especially the incontinence thing, how that impacted my life. You know, not only do I do fat art, but I do ABDL art. So, and I've been ever consumed into that part of the community, uh, the ABDL community. Which, much like the FA community, it's it's pretty chill. So as long as you don't fucking go into, uh... Uh, the weird politicky side of it. Why does an, why does a, 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 a fucking fetish-based community politics? I don't know. Ask the transgender of that community. But, um... Yeah, it's amazing how something stupid like that could, uh, serious like that, impacts your life with something stupid like, lol, I draw fat people in pamps. <laughs> Boy. Anyway. Snakey says, on a slightly more upbeat topic, I find it pretty funny that Activision immediately apologized for how Claude is after Microsoft bought him. Oh yeah, that's right, Microsoft did buy Activision. Man, ain't how the fucking, ain't how the tables turn, huh? What I mean by that isn't like, didn't like Activision fucking like... Didn't Activision at one point have a, like a sexual harassment lawsuit to the point where it fucked their company so hard that micro- Yeah, that's probably what ended up happening. Happened. Microsoft got bought them because they <laughs> were about to go bankrupt because of that shit. You know what? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. I do find it interesting though that um that Microsoft did in fact bought by uh, Activision. So does that mean they own Overwatch or is Blizzard like a separate entity now again? Because like I'm I'm sitting here thinking about. There was also talks of Facebook and EA buying them, so it seems like we got the best turnout. You know what? Honestly... Oh. What? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. You know what? Honestly, though, I, I kind of agree. I, I agree. That is probably the best turnout uh, for uh, 
Yes, micro Microsoft owns Overwatch. Okay, can I have a request? Diva in a fucking in in like Windows in the Windows of Microsoft colors. You're welcome. Also, morbidly obese. Eating Doritos and uh, the eating Mountain Dew out of a Microsoft Xbox refrigerator. Also, she has a she has a picture of Geoff Keighley, and it just it, it, it's him doing finger guns and saying nice in the background. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Master Chief body pillow. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate I hate where my brain goes with this shit. Her fucking her fucking music uh, Diva's new music choices are just the Halo 3 OST, and then this. Who would buy a Master Chief Docky? Good question. I ask Eva. Where is, where is this fucking? Where is this song? I know I, I know I saw this song like like two you know? Oh my god. They get rid of it. No, oh, they got rid of it. Oh Why is it recommended when I type in Microsoft? The first thing that come, one of the first few things that come up is gamer gaming messy yourself. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? Game meme. I where? No, no! Don't tell me it fucking got rid of it. They did. They fucking got rid of it. Oh. Oh, they got rid of it, motherfucker! See, this is why you need to keep shit nowadays, chat. Anyway, the whole joke of it would have been like, there's a song out there that's like, gaming, gamer, gaming, gamer, 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 gaming, gaming, gamer, gaming, and it's like an upbeat electronic beat. That's their big game this E3. No, no, Microsoft's big game, E3, is Diva's Dating Simulator. Oh, you can have that idea for free. All, all I can say is just, don't follow my path. <laughs> you know, speaking of dating simulators, you know how, like, there was the Colonel dating sim? You know, Rivals- did you know that Rivals of Aether have their own dating sim game? And it's so fucking unnecessary, but it, it's there. It's like the KFC dating game, It's it's except worse. Yeah, I can't believe that, like, again, I I'm I'm surprised, but I'm not at the same time. Because, um, you know, Activision, much like EA, they're go they're going down the drain right now. They're, uh, they're not doing so great, chat. <laughs> uh, like, they have the worst reputations out of all the companies right now. Um, Activision's fighting, was fighting a sexual harassment lawsuit. I... Uh, what do you want me to say about, uh, you know, EA other than it's ES? 
But, um... Yeah, I'm not surprised. Honestly, that... I mean, good job. You fucked up so hard, now Bill Gates owns your ass. But, uh... You know, thank God it isn't Todd Howard. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Did Microsoft buy Bethesda as well? I believe they did. Yes. So, okay, I guess by proxy, Todd Howard, Todd Howard and Bill Gates fucked your ass pretty hard, Activision. But good job. You got fucked both ends. Broken and sideways. <clears throat> oh no, I'm sorry, broken and through a window. I refuse to play the KFC dating set until my friend buys me KFC. Chat, I'll do you one better. I'll play it. I'll play it if uh, if someone buys me KFC. Or Or I will play it on September 9th, which is the Colonel's birthday. Yes. Watch, I'm gonna forget that, by the way. I'm gonna be like, oh, oh, I said I was gonna do that? Yeah, you did, motherfucker. You did. Yeah, but it's just it's just crazy to me, honestly. In a way, it's a it's a it is a good outcome. But my concern is, okay, what if like, okay, what if it becomes a, a point to where the government starts like involving themselves and it's like, okay, Microsoft, you're a monopoly. We now think you're now you're now in a monopoly, despite saying you weren't like 30 years ago. When, uh, that whole Netscape debacle. Um. Facebook, I could see them- I could see Facebook, uh, being broken down, eventually. But yeah, the whole idea of, um... The whole idea of, uh... I don't know what the, I don't know how to put this. It, uh, Activision getting bought to me is- it's- it's- it's, uh... Well, I, uh, you know, as a once wise Jedi says, it brings a smile to my face. But, uh, it's Microsoft, so. I mean, at least on the good end of things with Microsoft, at least they're, like, very pro, like, gamer friendly, and they're not, like, going to fuck everyone over. With like having their games be exclusive and only exclusive to uh, their consoles and their Game Pass, like a certain fucking company that uh, is notoriously shitty for its uh, exclusives. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about. Uh, if Microsoft buys EA, maybe The Sims can be good again. Dude, if they do release Sims 5, I'm going- if they release Sims 5 before, uh, Season 3 of the cesspool comes out, I'm going to purposely withhold Season 3, uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> basically fucking play Sims 5. Oops, sorry for bumping into you like that. I was in a hurry to the Pokemon Center and Pokemon attacked me and, uh, and my team in Comet Cave. Okay, good luck, Mike. Excuse me. So, I I won't lie. If they do do that and see and Sims actually gets a new game and it's good, I'm actually going to be super stoked. But I'll intentionally withhold season three. <laughs>
That's my face right now. <laughs> That's my face. <laughs> That's my face right now. I don't like this. Here. Here. No, that, that makes it worse. That makes it so much worse. Here, you, you, you know what? No, here. Where do you train? The library. That makes it so much worse! Oh my god. Oh. Here, you know what? Let's let's add let's up the ante just by going overboard. Here. Save this. Oh. I guess I can't really Mike! Mike! My brain, Mike! It's a big shot! Hey, you know what? I, 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 I can't. I, I just, I need to cope. I need to cope. I, I need to fucking cope. Let, let me cope, because this is like nightmare fuel for me, please. There, see, he's not so bad anymore. He's not so bad anymore. He's he. Uh, 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 kill it with fire. Kill it, kill it with fire. Kill it, kill just. Kill it with fire. Kill it, kill it with fire. You know what? Listen, I, I, I'm not gonna shit you. I see what they're doing here. Hey, Tandor is a is a nuclear uh, nightmare of mutations and shit. But, um... That looks like it hurts. No. <laughs> no! It sounds horrible too! Watch, I'm gonna be seeing that shit in my. Uh, another one? No. N no, get, get. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Get it out of here. I, do I don't like this. I don't like this. This thing makes me fucking cringe. It it's making me cringe pretty hard. My lip is baby. You. Thank you. Stop it. Stop. Stop. We're, we're not doing this. Get, get this fucker out of here. Braylip gives me PTSD. I don't like it. No. Ooh. Oh, look, it's a Thunderstone. I'm just curious. Does this thing evolve with the Thunderstone? No. Hey, it's Pahar!
Well... So, I have a quick question, okay? I, I, I know I've seen someone draw this mon somewhere on Twitter or somewhere. Am I wrong to think that someone has drawn this before? Show says it might have been, uh, it might have been one of our guy, one of one of our guys in the community. But I don't even know who this, who drew this before, because I've seen some random Japanese artists draw this thing like a lot. I don't like. Do you know? Because I don't fucking know. I, 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 I'm, I feel like I'm having a Mandela effect, but I'm not sure. Like, show says it might be one of our guys, but I don't fucking know. I just don't remember the. I don't. I've seen it happen before. I, I just don't know who's done it. I don't think I've seen anyone draw it before. It reminds me of that one Neko girl, though. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But the thing is, is like I've seen. I, I don't know. Maybe I've had. A, maybe I'm having a Mandela effect. But I remember a fat Japanese artist drawing this thing, like, a lot. But maybe maybe I'm just having a weird Mandela effect, and Sho says he's seen it, and you're saying you've not, so I don't know. I don't know, I think I've seen a Japanese artist draw this thing before, but I don't know. Pahara are intelligent and calmly kept as pets. They can, e they are, they can even be taught the to talk, although not to the degree of Chadot. It's a bootleg Chadot! It's Chat Not. Oh. I'm sorry, is there a. There's there's a there's a dedicated reset button. It's F12. Let me cope. Let me cope. It saved, but to the, uh, but to the, uh, the Wonder Trade part, so before I got the badge and did all that shit. Oh, when in doubt. <clears throat> Gonna uh huh uh huh um where where is Rick Astley I don't even have him here do I no I have I have everything else where is it where is my it's just a dream emote. <laughs> I have everything else, but it's just a dream. Oh, oh no, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here's the lad. Here he is. Oh boy. Oh, I love when this shit happens. <laughs> this is why this is why uh Rick Astley is an emote, by the way. <laughs> 
uh, for the finger face C people. We're just gonna put that to uh, that. Here we go. I fucking hate when this shit happens. Okay. Well, you what? 